When terror struck Mumbai on Wednesday night, these were the men who struck back. At both the Oberoi and the Taj hotels, the police were the first to arrive on the scene. But it soon became clear they would need help. Army troops and teams of the Marine Commandos, the Navy's elite special force units, were rushed to the hotels. Bodies were lying here and there. And hence, and, and they were also firing coming from various places. The Marcos moved from room to room, looking for trapped guests, helping those who were still alive. We requested the staff to take those people who were injured into the ambulance. Early on Thursday morning, the National Security Guard, the Home Ministry's Special Response Unit, stepped in. NSG commandos stormed the building from the rooftop. They then moved from floor to floor, looking for guests, scanning over 900 rooms. Soon the hostages began to emerge, anxious, scared, but unhurt. At around 7 p.m., one of the terrorists was arrested. On Friday morning, army choppers circled the hotel, but the worst was over. Close to 200 people had been rescued. Inside the Obra Hotel, two terrorists have been killed and all the hostages who were alive has been released. Nariman House posed a different challenge. A ground approach would have left the commandos open to fire from terrorists on the third floor. So the black cats took up position on neighboring buildings. Intermittent gunfire followed. At around 8 a.m. on Friday, a military helicopter dropped commandos onto the roof of a building nearby with snipers providing covering fire. The commandos entered Nariman House and rescued seven people and a gun battle began. At around 5.30 p.m., the commandos blew away the third floor and killed the terrorists. This building has been completely taken over by the NSC. We have neutralized the terrorists. The Taj was the toughest battle. Trained terrorists often set off fires to divert the attention of the commandos. But the commandos ploughed on, winning back the Taj room by room, floor by floor. And at around 8 a.m. on Saturday morning, the news finally came. The last two terrorists have been killed a short while ago. If asked, they would probably say they aren't heroes, simply ordinary men doing their jobs. But for a nation that has been on edge for three days, these are men without power. These are true champions. Bureau reports CNN IBN.